Some of our seemingly harmless habits are doing slow, silent, deadly damage to those precious lithium-ion batteries. Below are some simple charging mistakes you make that is slowly killing your phone battery. 1. You are charging to 100%. If your palm starts sweating when your battery drops below 90%, you need to chill. Maintaining a full charge is not the most efficient way to keep your phone battery strong. In fact, experts suggest letting your phone coast through the day between 30 and 80% full. That's where it's most comfortable, and will run most efficiently. So stop jussing it overnight, and instead go for shorter and more frequent bursts throughout the day. 2. You are letting your phone die. Lithium batteries become volatile when they drop down to low power, so you should avoid getting that pesky low battery warning too often. Every full discharge wears down your battery ever so slightly. That being said, Apple and other experts suggest you let it fully run out of juice every one to two months to calibrate the battery gauge. 3. You are overheating your battery. Okay, this isn't specifically a charging issue. But it's still very important. You've probably noticed that your phone is annoyingly sluggish after it's been sitting out in the sun. That's because iPhone batteries really, really hate extreme temperatures, and have to work extra hard in high heat or cold. According to Apple, the comfort zone for iPhones as well as iPads, iPods, and Apple Watches is between 32 and 95 degrees. Bottom line, your phone is basically a needy little computer baby that needs to be bundled up and cooled off on the regular. 4. You are using your wireless charger too much. Your Mafi backup battery case is a godsend when you're out and about and need some extra juice to get home. But both your battery and the case itself emit heat during charging, which can do long-term damage your device. To avoid overheating, try a portable power source that doesn't attach to your phone. 5. You are leaving your case on while you charge. While we're on the subject, if your phone feels too hot when it's plugged in, it's possible your fancy schmancy case might be trapping in the heat that's produced while charging. So do your phone a favor and take it off. 6. You are storing your backup phone without a charge. If you are hanging onto your old phone as a backup for when you inevitably drop your new 6S in the toilet, make sure you stash it in a cool place, roughly half charged. According to Apple, if you leave the battery completely depleted it will fall into what's known as a deep discharge state, which apart from sounding like a nightmarish medical issue, will render it less capable of holding a charge in the future. Conversely, if you store it fully charged for an extended period, it may lose some capacity as well. 7. You are using the wrong charger. Your Apple issued charger is designed to cut power when the battery hits 100%. But those cheapo unauthorized third-party USB cords are not, and may do some damage by excessively jussing the battery. Plus, you know, they could kill you. Point 8. Turn down the brightness you'll squeeze more battery life out of your phone by turning the brightness down. Previous tests suggest the difference in battery life between the highest and lowest brightness settings on an iPhone is a few hours. You can automatically dim your iPhone's brightness with Tasker for Android 2. Dark wallpapers might also make a difference. Brightness matters also when you're running on battery on your laptop.